So here is the True Induction Double Burner TI-2B Counter Inset cooked up. Just wanted to do a video to show the power consumption of this unit. I had a hard time getting straight answers uh, on YouTube and the internet, so I wanted to make a video just to show what it truly draws. So here's the unit. It's an inset model, so it's designed to go into a countertop, um, but they actually included some rubber feet, which is really nice. I'm able to test it here in the kitchen uh, without having to elevate it. Um, it does have cooling fans in the bottom, so it needs space for those to, to draw the air in. So we'll go ahead and turn the unit on. The H just means that I've been using it, and it's pretty hot. Um, but it's actually not very hot. I just turned it off, and I, I, it's honestly room temperature, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it doesn't heat up the surrounding glass in the least bit. So we'll go ahead and turn this on, and uh, we'll look at the power draw. So you can see just an idle. It's using about 0.6 watts, which is really nothing. It just kind of oscillates um, at a very low watt draw, which is cool. So we'll go ahead and turn it on, and we'll just set it to number one. So there's number one, two, and it kind of cycles off and on. You might be able to hear the induction doing that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, <laughs> nine, and 10, which is the highest setting. And it's drawing at number 10, 1700, 1600 maybe uh, watts. So it's like I've got a 2000 watt inverter to run this thing and I think that'll work just fine. I've already been heating this water so it's pretty much already boiling. Um, it took two and a half minutes to heat this uh, shallow pan uh, with water in it from cold to boiling. Just for a point of reference, uh, it took almost five and a half minutes for this glass cooktop to do the same. Uh, it's just an electric uh, cooktop, not induction. So it boiled the water exceptionally fast. I was really happy to see that. Um, we're at sea level, so boiling temperatures, you know, 205 degrees. So, and like I said, the glass stays very cool. I mean, my finger is, you know, I'm feeling more heat coming from the, the pan than I am on the glass. I mean, it's the glass is in temperature, which is really impressed with that. So our plan. Uh, was to use this in a van so with this pan not here we should be able to use this as countertop space uh, and not worry about burning ourselves on the glass it's, it's actually incredible how well that doesn't heat it <laughs> so one feature i wanted to highlight uh, is it's not really a feature it, it pretty much has to have this uh, you can't run both cooktops at high because it would exceed a 15 amp service and start popping breakers uh, so it has a, a feature on it that uh, reduces the power on either burner so that it total consumption isn't over 15 amps. So when I turn this on, you'll see the 10 drop down to probably an eight or nine. So we'll turn this on. We'll select uh, temperature number five. So that went to nine. So now I'll start uh, heating up, I'm sorry, increasing the temperature of the right one. You'll see the left one start dropping. Seven. So now I'm increasing it to eight, nine, 10. Okay, I won't go to 10 when there are two on at the same time. So you can see how this one turning on higher reduced the power of the left hand one, but you know, we're still drawing the same peak wattage. So that is pretty much it for the uh, induction uh, cooktop. Pretty happy with it. I think this will be a good, uh, good use in the van. It'll take up a lot of counter space, but uh, when we're only using one burner, uh, half of the unit can act as counter space since the glass is maybe, uh, it's pretty thin. The glass is maybe an eighth inch. Um, so, so. Pretty happy with the unit so far, and that's it.